Welcome to Principles of Sustainable Design. My name is Rob Fleming. I'm the director of the MS in Sustainable Design program here at Philadelphia University. And our course will first be offered in January of 2015. We can begin the study by looking at the planet Earth, its declining resources, and the increasing demand for those same resources. When those vectors cross, and some say they already have, we reach a point of what's called unsustainability. Some of that is involving peak oil, severe climate change, ecosystem collapse, and loss of life and lower quality of life for millions. As a response, we can begin to leap over the razor's edge and think about ways to turn those curves upside down by replenishing resources through design and also decreasing demand for those same resources through design. Sustainable design then is quite simply the lever by which those curves are turned in opposite directions. The course begins by looking at the long history of the planet Earth and the context for sustainability and the very short amount of time that humans have been on the planet. We also get to look at how worldview shift drives relationships between humanity and the natural world. In week two, we begin to explore the deeper motivations for sustainability and the conflict between empathy and self-interest, between greed and altruism, between materialism and bleeding heart liberalism. We look at Adam Smith's Invisible Hand of Wealth and the emerging second Invisible Hand of Wealth, and perhaps sustainability then could be the great resolution of those two forces. In week three, we start to look at the frameworks for sustainability, and, and not just looking at the triple bottom line, but also beginning to think about the quadruple bottom line by bringing in the designer's role in shaping human experience in space. In week four, we go a little deeper to, to explore integral theory, and think about sustainability as a meta paradigm with multiple perspectives of experience, behaviors, cultures, and systems. We go further to look at integral sustainable design, a model developed by Mark Decay for deep sustainable design principles. In week five, we begin to study energy literacy, the role of fossil fuels, transitional energy sources, and of course, renewable energy. And we explore those through the four lenses of integral theory as described before. Week six covers environmental literacy, looking at the entire planet as a giant ecosystem where the impacts of energy use are quite prevalent. And we can begin to study amplification and feedback loops that are further driving climate change on the planet Earth. And finally, in week seven, we complete the course with an impact project, the HOPE project. So this course will be great for those who are new to sustainability and for also those who have some knowledge of green design but would like to take their impact to much higher levels. I look forward to seeing you in my course in January 2015.